Linsky. The death penalty trials of four members of the Wagner family charged in the Pike County massacre will cost a small fortune. Yeah, this is a big expense for such a small county, but help may be on the way. And Jeanette Levy is here with that story. Well, Kyle, to date, the investigation into the Roden and Gilly murders has cost Pike County $600,000. But a new bill discussed today could ensure that smaller counties get help paying for death penalty cases in the future. Justice should not be a matter of affordability. State Auditor and Attorney General-elect Dave Yost unveiled a plan today to help Pike County pay for the trials of the four members of the Wagner family charged in the Roden and Gilly murders. The state has an obligation to make sure that these difficult, expensive uh, cases are fully prosecuted, properly defended, and that justice is done. A bill that will be introduced in the legislature would allow small counties to apply for funding for certain death penalty trials. This is really a funding source that's reserved for the most difficult, expensive, extraordinary cases. Since the bodies of the Rodens and Hannah Gilly were discovered on April 22, 2016, Pike County Sheriff's detectives and state agents have spent thousands of hours investigating. And four trials for the Wagners, including possibly housing the jury and expert witnesses, could take a chunk out of the county's already lean budget. If you're looking at a, a couple of million bucks to uh, prosecute this, I mean, it's just devastating to a county of that size. To have four in a single county, uh, with a very tight budget uh, is just kind of overwhelming. Uh, so uh, this, is a, this is an attempt to try to deal with that extraordinary circumstance. Now, if this bill is approved, small counties with death penalty cases moving forward that involve more than one victim and multiple dependents would be eligible. The attorney general and the state public defender would have to submit a joint application for the funding. The attorney general-elect, uh, Dave Yost, that is, said the public defender also supports this funding program. Kyle? All right, Angela Levy reporting for us this evening. Legislators hope that bill could be approved at some point early next year. Meanwhile, Billy Wagner is back here in Ohio tonight. He was taken into custody in Lexington last week. Wagner is now in the Butler County Jail.